Okay, so it's equipment review time, people. Let's get into it. QTX SW2 is a substantial piece of kit. It has a 1200 watt motor. Now bearing in mind that most snow machines out there on the market are 600 watts, this packs a double the punch. It weighs in at nine kilograms, that's 20 pounds. So it's a fairly heavy unit, but it can be picked up using one hand with the handle at the top. It has a strong metal chassis. On the top here, you will see a bracket, which is used to hang the unit from trussing. Here is the back of the QTX SW2 and you will see some dip switches here. You'll also see that we have DMX in and DMX out uh, for independent control, uh, power on and off switch and a remote control port. Now the remote control port takes this cable here and on the end you will see a dial for output volume, minimum and maximum. So let's see how this bad boy performs in some real life tests. Let's go. I've brought the QTX snow machine outside, so let's fill her up. Simply take the top off. You'll see there's a little filter on the bottom of the pipe to stop any gubbins actually getting into the snow liquid. Now it's recommended that you use the QTX snow liquid. I've tried various types, about five different ones, and they all perform in a very similar fashion. Make sure when you're putting the pipe in, it goes all the way to the bottom so you benefit from all the liquid that's in there. And let's fire her up. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. So that's a good covering of snow, about 15 feet, uh, four and a half meters. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna conduct a decibel test and see how noisy this baby is. Let's go. Now a decibel test from 10 meters away. Okay, so the question is, would I buy this bad boy again, given the chance? Drum roll, please, Sergeant Major. Here's the verdict. So, in terms of quality, I'm going to give it 8 out of 10. It's solid. Yes, it's a bit heavy, but it can take the knocks. Solid metal chassis. Good stuff. Solid handle to carry the weight. Solid bracket to go on the trussing. It's all very well built. Even the plastic knobs on the side are well made. So it's good stuff. So there's your 8 out of 10 for quality. Now in terms of value, this thing cost Sterling, uh, UK, £150. Now equivalent Hantari machine would cost you four times that much. Yes, it's slightly quieter, but is it really worth all that extra money when this packs such a punch? So value, 9 out of 10. Performance, it does what it says on the tin. You saw the distance, you saw the range, but it is incredibly noisy. Yes, it has a powerful motor, but equivalent snow machines are slightly quieter. So in terms of performance, I'm gonna give it seven out of 10. So, here's the total. That averages out at eight out of 10. So, in conclusion, it's a brilliant piece of kit. Yes, I would recommend it. Would I buy it again? Yes. It's a good brand. I'd never heard of QTX prior to this. So, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe. Click the big thumbs up 
and click that bell to receive further notifications. Thanks for watching.